everybody. It's our summer 2022 road trip and we have finally made it to Cedar Point. Opened in 1870, this is the second oldest operating amusement park in the United States. So many roller coaster records have been broken here. There are so many iconic rides and so much history. And just the entrance already is so beautiful. I can see so many coasters and we're just, we're just thrilled. It really couldn't be a more beautiful day, but there is a huge line to get in this park. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in and let's get started. Are you the key master? Are you the gatekeeper? It looks really cool. A place like no other. We've got some hype music going on. We are hyped. <laughs> Let's get those season passes ready. Cedar Point just recently celebrated their 150th anniversary and they've still got this gorgeous display here. And I mean, who wouldn't? I'd leave this up forever until it's time for the next, like the 200 or something. This is beautiful. And let's see, there's a plaque here. Cedar Point, the queen of American watering places. Cedar Point became a popular beach resort in the late 1870s when visitors traveled to the peninsula by steamboat from Sandusky. The first thing we're gonna do is head to the Redemption Center. Pro tip, if you purchase fast lane, if you purchase all day dining, anything like that, make sure you pick up your wristband at the beginning of the day. And we purchased both, so we're gonna pick up our wristband. We have just found that fast lane makes the day so much smoother and all day dining is a really good deal because you'd spend the same amount anyway, but you can eat so much more. Since for this visit we have one day in this park, we figure let's make the most of it. Let's ride what we can, let's eat what we can, and let's soak it up. With all day dining we can get a new soft drink every 15 minutes and we can get a food or snack or whatever every 90 minutes. So that is awesome. We're gonna start out right now with our first soft drink of the day. I haven't had cherry coke in a long time. Let's do it. And I love the 150 year cups too. Well, we've got some Cedar Point history signs here. In honor of Cedar Point's first 100 years, the Jack Aldrich Theater opened as a Centennial Theater in 1970. As much as I'm excited about the rides and the roller coasters, I'm also really excited to try a bunch of food here. And I love this French Quarter Confections building already. But I think we'll do that later. Oh my gosh, wow! This is a beautiful park. And we are still just at the entrance. So I think it's more like a midway, like it goes straight in. Wow! In deciding what my first ride at Cedar Point should be, we decided to go the route we did at Kings Island and ride the oldest still operating roller coaster in the park. And that would be Blue Streak, a classic wooden roller coaster. And it has an Ace Roller Coaster landmark black here. Blue Streak opened on May 23rd, 1964. The coaster attains a maximum height of 78 feet and is capped off by a distinctively decorative cupola over the apex of the lift hill, reaching a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour after descending its 72 foot first drop. The coaster includes several smaller bunny hop hills along its 2,558 feet of track. And we'll use our first fast lane of the day. <laughs> Bam! Well, that was very nice. Very gentle hills. Great way to start the day. And we got some beautiful views of Lake Erie up there. We can see both sides. So this park's on a peninsula. We can see the boat dock area, like lined with boats. And then the, I guess the other side, where it was all blue and beautiful, it was so pretty and a great way to get kind of a bird's eye view. Yeah, I loved it. A true classic. Yeah, you enjoyed it? Yeah. Good classic out on back. Nice and old. That's what I love. How about those views? And we're gonna wait till you get on Millennium Falls. <laughs> oh boy, okay. There is so much we wanna do here. So what we're gonna do is go all the way to the back and work our way forwards. So let's go made our way to the back of the park to Frontier Town. There's a brand new restaurant that opened this season that we're gonna look for because we gotta, we gotta eat. We gotta use those dining plans. We got live in. We got live entertainment. Oh, we got, wow. we so got much. Drink, don't we have? That's a lot. 
It's a lot to have. For the low price of zero dollars. Or what we paid to enter, but you know. This is truce day we're talking about? Truce day, yes. Truce day. So what's the truce? Well now it's the truce between the Cayuga and the Wapi, the two guilds only. Okay, okay, got it. They told us not to tell anybody this while we were out here, but well, we also have a bit of a problem. You see, we gotta find a bag of gold before 6.30 or oh. uh, we're gonna get a skunk bomb. All right, so we're looking for a bag of gold. A bag of gold. Yes. Just a just a bag. Hit it somewhere on the app. Okay, yep. we'll be looking for it. All right, thank you very much. Okay, time. thank you, gentlemen. You thank you. Oh, as we're making our way to where we're gonna eat, I just noticed Wild Turnip. It's vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free, so that's good to know. And here's a sign for Frontier Town. Woo! -hoo. I think this is where we're going for some food. Designate which items are on the dining plan with that little symbol. So it looks like the farmhouse kitchen platter. And that's a choice of one entree, one side, and a home style biscuit. That steak looks mighty good. So, I mean, the sausages look good, the chicken, it all does. But I'm liking the look of that steak. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Oh yeah, and the sausage looks good, the chicken looks good. It's a tough call because it all looks good. I didn't know there was, oh that's the chicken tenders, wow. Gotta try that steak first. Steak is good. It's like peppered really nicely. The potatoes are really good. Well, we sat a spell. We really enjoyed our food. It was really, really good. And now it's time to head through Cedar Creek Hollow. I love a covered bridge thing like this. When the saints go marching in. What do we got on the other side waiting for us? All fun. We're fully fed and happy, and we're in the Old West, so it's time to take a cowboy ride on a roller coaster. We're in the back of the park, so you know where we're starting. Steel Vengeance, a beloved RMC hybrid roller coaster. This is a lot of people's favorites. It's got a similar look to Iron Quasi, and we're both really excited to ride. Right, we're putting our belongings in a locker. I really like the music in this area, and we're gonna ride. Oh my gosh, here we go. I love these, walking under the coaster. Bellows. Oh yeah, huge line, wow. The fast lane here is not cheap. It was about $160 per person. It's priced differently per date, but the lines for these popular rides are massive, so it can really help if you've only got a day in the park. Coming up on smaller lockers where I can put my phone. I brought my phone in this far just to get some cool views. That. There are the smaller lockers up here where I'm gonna drop my phone off. And then after that, we'll see you after the ride. Here we go. just fast enough and just slow enough that I was just like, oh, shh, shh, you know, shoot. Also, the views of Erie were phenomenal. It was just so, so cool. Yeah, we loved Steel Vengeance. It was a long wait though. Even with the fast lane, we waited at least half an hour. So it was long, but it was worth it. I can definitely see why this is a favorite for so many people. It's just a really, really good coaster. We were in row three. And I actually was so comfortable. It felt smooth to me. Like there was no pain, no discomfort. I don't know if it was just the seat I was in. I was on the right side in the third row, but it was perfection. Taking a look in the Steel Vengeance shop. Love the theming. And look, they've got this wooden 
model of the ride vehicle. That's really neat. Did you notice before we got on the ride, the ride operator's thing, it said like a mean streak lies beneath or something yeah. like that? That is an ode to the ride that was there before Mean Streak, before it was turned into yeah. what it is now. I never got to ride Mean Streak, but I've heard it was pink. Next up, it's gotta be Maverick. Wanted. Riders to tame the wildest ride this side of the Pecos. 105 foot tall launch lift hill, 100 foot first drop at a 95 degree angle at speeds of 57 miles per hour. Twisted horseshoe roll with two 360 degree corkscrew rolls, 10 steeply banked turns from 62 to 92 degrees, eight airtime hills, and a second launch from zero to 70 in a 400 foot long tunnel. Are you ready? to tame the maverick Woo! some rides require locker like steel vengeance did but some have bins you can leave them in like this which i'm very happy about maverick this looks like we've got another 30 minuter for a fast lane oh my goodness that is a lie just a few days ago we were at king's island and we were wondering like it wasn't that crowded and we were like why is it so not crowded in july and that's probably because all the crowds were here because Cedar Point, it definitely feels like a crowded summer day in July and in a fun way. Like it feels very lively. There's like a nice atmosphere, I think. Yeah, yeah, there is. It feels like a summer day. Yeah. Like everybody's out having fun and yeah, it feels, it's nice. Yeah. I am glad that we have that sleep. I wonder if the emu eggs are part of the dining plan. sign up ahead that says due to the dynamics of this ride it is recommended that all earrings be removed prior to riding here's the building we just went through very cool okay they tell you where to go on these but that's totally fine we're gonna be in row number four Maverick was really good. I really like the tunnel that you go through. It's like a train tunnel that was really cool. Some of the rolls were like a little bit slow, but because the restraints were over the shoulder, you felt really secure in there. You could feel it and kind of hang there a little bit, but feel very secure in. But the downside of those restraints is that they're right here at the neck. The ride twists and then turns and then twists, so I was bonking into it a little, but it's a very soft, padded, cushioned restraint, and they were very comfortable. The restraints were very comfortable. I don't know why I've gotten into talking about whether the restraints are comfortable or not. It's just something that like I'm interested in and I feel like could be helpful information for people. But yeah, found it very comfortable, very fun. Lots of twists and turns, a lot of fun. We liked it and, and again, really good views. From where we unloaded from the ride, I can actually give you a little bit of the view that we saw from Steel Vengeance. Obviously we were up much higher, but you can see a bit of Lake Erie out there and the boats and the glistening water. While we were riding, we could see what looks like a scare zone or a scare maze or something for Halloween. Skeletons and like cool, scary Halloween looking stuff down there. And I thought maybe we could only see it from the ride. You know, there's so many times we see stuff from the ride that I can't show you because at Cedar Parks you can't film on the rides, but we can actually see it from the platform here. One, three, zero, four. And we can see as we're getting off that the line is still massive and i can see why it really is a very very fun coaster love the theming and love the layout this is the train tunnel that you go into it's right underneath the platform you can hear the like noises that you hear in there very cool so one of the other cedar parks we purchased the season pass and you can use it at the different parks so we can use it for all our ride mix here too i like it oh well what do we have here a little live music Thank you, thank you guys so much. There's a park map, so you can see how it's like one long midway rather than a circle or a hub and spoke design like a lot of parks are. We are right now in Frontier Town. So we did Steel Vengeance and Maverick. We're gonna slowly make our way back to the front of the park and then tonight there's a big beach party. Oh look, Shady Hollow, it's full of rocking chairs in the shade. 
How lovely. I love when parks have live music and entertainment going on around every corner. Magnum XL 200 is an aero roller coaster and it was the first roller coaster to hit over 200 feet. And it started the roller coaster wars where parks were trying to outdo each other with taller, bigger, and faster roller coasters. It is iconic. And look at how cool and retro it looks. So we are gonna drop our stuff in a locker and go ride. If you guys are ready to ride Magnum say, Goodbye. Magnum XL. Thoughts? I like it. It's fun. I did too. It's rattly. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell it's old. Yeah. The first hyper. Some good so airtime now. Since talking about restraints has become my thing, I will say that the lap bar, while comfortable at first, bangs against your thighs like crazy with every bit yeah. of airtime, right? Yeah, it does. I feel like my thighs yeah. got like a pounding on there, yeah. but like it was fun. It was really fun, we really enjoyed it. And it reminded me of the big one at Black Bull Pleasure Beach. Like similar in the sense you get those like seaside views with the big high first hill. It's and an arrow. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. I liked it. Glass blowing feature. Back there, they're blowing the glass that is for sale inside the shop. Barn with Ohio on it. And ponies, llamas, little petting zoo here. So this area is a log cabin settlement. Early Ohio settlers often built their log cabins close together for protection company and cooperative clearing and farming. The first such settlement in Sandusky began in 1790. The cabins here are original, dating back to about 1850 and were moved to this site from nearby townships. That is really, really cool. I love that. You can actually ride a horse here. They have trail rides. How neat is that? They have these selfie spots where if you have the photo card, which we do, you can just kind of pose, scan your card, and it'll take your photo. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Stop bothering me. No privacy. No way. <laughs> Brother, can you spare a cop? <laughs> on our way into this area, I noticed the Red Garter Saloon and I was eyeballing it and hoping we could go in. And I'm just in the mood for a saloon. Oh my gosh, I love it already. I love it. So here's the menu. I'm definitely eyeballing the nachos. Everything with this symbol is part of the dining plan. We do have shows here, but they were earlier in the day, but it's still a really chill, cool saloon atmosphere. Very nice and chilly in here and comfy. Very cute vibe in here. Just, you know, if there's a saloon, you gotta go to it. And I'm really liking the raspberry iced tea. Got that again, and we ordered, and they're gonna bring our food up to us. I got the Southwest chicken wrap platter. It looks like, you know, a chicken wrap. And Sam got the jalapeno cheddar worst. And we'll just enjoy the vibe in here. I like this wallpaper. Meal done. Let's go. And now that we've eaten, we've relaxed, we've chilled, it's time for Millennium Force. I just love this sign. So earlier, before we ate, we rode Magnum XL. That was the first hyper coaster over 200 feet. And now we are about to ride Millennium Force, the first giga coaster over 300 feet, continuing the coaster wars of making taller and bigger coasters. Cedar Point has been at the forefront of the coaster wars so many times, and this is another example. And we are about to ride. Now normally I take my phone with me as far as I can and then put it in a locker to show you the loading platform and as much of the queue as I can possibly show you. But at this ride, I don't think I can take it in any further than here. So like always, I'll show you some nice shots of the coaster and then we will see you after. Even though we've purchased some things and our bags are getting bigger, we're still able to fit both in one locker. So that's good.
I love that. Yeah. It was so good. It's so fast. It was really fast, right? Yeah, the original Giga Coaster and the views over the lake. Yeah. Now, I will admit, going up the first hill, I was not taking in the view this time. <laughs> what did you say? If it wasn't for your thighs, you would if be right If it wasn't right for out. the strength of my own thighs, I felt like I would have slipped out. I know I wouldn't, but it was one of those where you feel like you're just going to whoop. Yeah. You're, just gonna, you're just gonna slip right out. But going up, it was scary. I mean, I've been on coasters this tall before, but man, it's it's scary. You know, the heights, it's just so high. So that was your fourth Giga Coaster. You've done Intimidator 305. Hated it. Fury 325. Loved it. Orion. Really liked it. And Millennium Fall. Liked it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That's my ranking. That's my Giga ranking. Well, look here, I see a van. Advertising Cedar Point Nights. Tonight is the first night of it and we are definitely gonna go out there to have a little beach party. Ah, we just caught the 150 year parade. This is great. Wow, it looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> Lifeguard, he's gotta watch over things. dragster here in front of us is closed for the season so sadly we won't be riding that this trip but on a future visit hopefully we will get to ride that cedar point has a derby racer ride here cedar downs racing derby so we have got to do it it's a high speed ride 14.5 miles per hour how I adore a derby racer ride. The only other one I've ridden like this was the Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which I feel like feels bigger and faster and it's got the organ music, but this one is just charming and fun. It's cool that this one still moves back and forward like you're racing. Yeah, so like there were two that would move forward and then two would move back. Yeah. So it's like, go oh, horsey go! Yeah. There are only two of these left yeah. in the United States. Yeah. And they're a really fun ride. It is really fun, really yeah. different. Everybody's smiling, everybody's like, yeah. wee, my horsey! Like, yeah. yeah, it's good stuff. It's becoming sunset. It's so pretty out. We're gonna head out to the beach party because it started about an hour or so ago. A rainbow! What have you decided we're riding next? We are riding the Sky Ride. Yeah. I've been wanting to ride this. Yeah. These are not your favorite, <laughs> but you know, they say compromise is a normal yeah. part of the <laughs> I'm doing so. it for you. It is a beautiful time of day for it though. Can't wait to see the view from up there. Absolutely. Are you enjoying this? It is really pretty. There's nothing like swinging up high. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little scary, but especially when I see you like holding your camera any close to the edge, I'm like, <laughs> but it's nice. It's really pretty. I feel like my hat might blow away. It's a very short ride and it actually got us where we needed to go to get out onto the beach, so it worked out and it, yeah, it's beautiful. Snoopy! Built in 
1888, the Grand Pavilion was the first major building constructed here. Construction walls over here, looks like they're making something new. And we are heading out to the beach. All right, here it is, the Luau in Pavilion 2. Oh, how pretty. So this is gonna be going on until 11 p.m. So it's kind of early in the party, but Look at all the food. Hawaiian cream cake, pineapple, coconut, cheese bar. <gasps> the way you purchase things at this luau was with sand dollars and we already purchased sand dollars in advance. So we just have to redeem them and then we can start getting stuff. And here's how much the sand dollars cost. So again, we bought them in advance, but you can buy them here. We're getting our sand dollars. Yeah. Cute. Here's what the sand dollars look like. They say Lake Erie Luau on them. And then the other side, it says Cedar Point Nights. So we used our three sand dollars, which were, I guess, average to $5 each. It's kind of like food festival food, I feel like. And the food closes earlier than the desserts. All right, got a token with a piece of cake on its name. I mean, you know what I mean. Summer Berry Parfait. Hmm, Mayan Dream Cake. I'm leaning towards that. Pineapple coconut cheesecake bars. It's gonna have to be this for me. I love the little shell on it. All right, we snacked hard. Now it's time to check out the beach. Maybe we'll get a drink too. Here is one of the bars. So it looks like you can get a fish bowl with glow cube for two sand dollars or one of these cocktails for three. So I'm gonna do that. We have four left, so that way you can get one beer, I can get one fish bowl, perfect. Let's play with my treasure. Your treasure. It came in a little sack, yeah, too. Yeah, it came. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I really like the little Yeah, stuff. me too. This is a pre-mixed drink. It tastes like a pina colada-ish type of drink. And I like that the straw looks like beach waves or a roller coaster, maybe. All right, now that is a beach party. Now I feel like I fit in with my glow drink. Wow. That is cool. That's Hotel Breakers over there. It looks beautiful. We did want to stay there. It's very, very, very expensive, but it was also booked up on the dates that we could be here. So hopefully in the future we can stay there because we would love to. We were trying to find a seat because we don't have like a blanket or towel to sit on the sand or anything, which we would have done had it come to that. But a lovely family was sitting on these glow cubes and they just happened to be leaving as we were walking by. They offered them to us. Thank you so much. And now we have glow seats. Woo! This is a first uh, theme park or amusement park for me. Me too. A big beach party like this actually on the beach. I've got to say, of all the summer night parties we've been to so far this summer, this takes the cake because it's on an actual beach. So hard to compete with an actual beach party on the actual beach. All right, let's have a little walk out to the water. Just wow. Everybody is just having family fun. This is awesome. Do I like that drink? It's pretty good, yeah. It's really sweet, but it's very nice, very coconut. So many of you know that there are certain Disney cocktails that come with a glow cube, and many of us Disney fans love to collect them. This is my first Cedar Point glow cube, so I've got to keep it. And we'll put it in the little pouch that the sand dollars came in. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I got this sand glow cube bag. Yes, our treasure. We have been sitting out here for quite a while, enjoying the vibe. We are loving this. We're sitting on our glow cubes. We walked out to the water. We walked around. We looked at the fires. We enjoyed our drinks. But now I think we're gonna go back into the park and get some night rides in. And maybe ride something we haven't ridden today yet. What do you say to that, Samuel? I say, we're going whatever you really, really want. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Gatekeeper. That's good. All right, we gotta get the sand out of our shoes. We're back in. By the way, this park is cashless, like so many parks in the USA are becoming. But there is an entrance right off the beach to get back into the park. You need to show your season pass again to get back in, and we are good. There's a sign on the construction wall. There's a bunch of them. This one says, coming soon, more sand, sun, and traditional summer fun. And then this area of the park really feels like a grand carnival midway. 
the wheels closed or else we would have ridden that. It's time for a night ride on Gatekeeper. Oh, look at this cool grand entrance to Gatekeeper, wow. I think we're gonna have to put our things in a locker for this one. Here are the lockers right over here. We keep shopping, but we can still just barely cram all of our stuff. did have like a little bin for shoes or phones up on the platform so I could have taken my phone but I didn't know so I left it in the locker but we're gonna take you back to the gift shop because I loved that ride so you go through like keyholes I thought you would like it because it's kind of like a bigger swarm and you really like swarms yeah. Right? yeah yeah I really really did like it so gotta buy the shirt gatekeeper oh yeah and especially as a night ride that was really really cool it was really smooth and fun and yeah. Already got the ride photo on the way out. I'm gonna go back in to look at the shopping. Lots of cool gatekeeper merchandise. I think I like this one. And I just looked up and the whole top half here has this really cool design and the gatekeeper logo. Whoa, we just walked by this seemingly random building and it's a huge arcade and there's a huge model of Steel Vengeance. This is, whoa! It's huge! This is cool. We wanna get another coaster in before the park closes. We didn't even know this building was here. We were just walking by and saw it. That's neat. Ah, I guess we somehow had just passed this but this is the front of the arcade. And they've got a Zoltar. I guess we just walked by that earlier and didn't really see it. This is a high school musical song. Yeah, this, I feel like we're uh, at an amusement park in like an 80s movie, like an 80s yeah. summer movie. This, yeah. is, this is great. A whole peanut store. Oh boy. All right, it looks like we are gonna try to get on Iron Dragon. This is an aero suspended coaster. You ride in these cute little boat bucket looking things. You've been on Vampire at Chessington. And so I they loved have it. New trains. Uh -huh. These are the old trains they had. Yeah, I loved Vampire. I think I love my classic arrows, huh? at night just pure fun you know classic rides like that are really memorable and they just they just make you smile and leave a really good impression now you know what it's time to do shopping And that concludes our day here at Cedar Point Amusement Park in Sandusky, Ohio. My first ever visit to this iconic, historic, and beautiful park. We had an amazing day. I don't know how we could have had a better day. We rode so many rides. Everything was good. I, I loved everything. I can't even think of a favorite right now. Steel Vengeance stands out. Gatekeeper, just everything was so good. Everyone we chatted with that worked here, all the team members, cast, staff, 
were all really great, really kind, really cool. When the people who work at a park take pride in the park, it really gives you a sense that you are somewhere special. And it just felt magical. It was beautiful. The weather was amazing. You know, we've been on this road trip, traversing up from Florida, stopping, making so many stops along the way. And we've had all sorts of weather, brutally hot days, gray cloudy days, rain, all sorts of things. But today was perfect, just a perfect summer Day. It was warm, but it was cool, but it was mild, it was amazing. And the beach party, the nighttime party was great. We'd probably skip the luau part next time and just not even buy the sand dollars or just buy enough for like a drink or two and skip the food. We had enough good food in the park for the day, but we would definitely go out to the beach and enjoy that. And I definitely recommend you do if you're here while that's going on. It's a limited time summer thing. I do feel like this is a good like foodie park, like theme park foodie park, because there's so many different kinds of food to try and some things were better than others, but it was nice to have the variety and the dining plan really helped with that because it made us feel like we could try more. As you can probably hear, guests are streaming out of the park. So we are gonna go ahead and get out of here, go back to our hotel. I just love Cedar Point. I'm so happy that we have our Cedar Fair season passes. We have done so many Cedar Fair parks just this year alone. And this is definitely like the crown jewel. Like beautiful, wonderful, love it. Can't wait to come back already. And I'm really glad because there was a lot of buildup to this park being like, such an amazing park that so many people love and I can say it absolutely lives up to the hype and it's a very well balanced park. I know this park is very well known for roller coasters and a lot of roller coaster enthusiasts for a reason. Sing the praises of a lot of the coasters here and everything we rode was great. I loved all the coasters but I will say that it's balanced and there's a lot more than just coasters. There are classic rides, historic rides, attractions. There's a lot of atmosphere and theming, entertainment, live music, food. There's a lot more than just roller coasters here and I'm very happy to say that because I'm very big on like theming and atmosphere too. You all know that. But we are gonna go back to the car, go back to the hotel room, get back on the road tomorrow and go to our next destination the road trip continues. And I am just so grateful to read all of your comments, your stories, your memories, your favorite parts of our days of the road trip. Just all your encouragement on this road trip, it means so much. So thank you so much if you've been on this journey with us, watching the road trip videos, encouraging us to keep going. It, it really, really helps. Let me know your thoughts about Cedar Point, what your favorite thing we did today was, and I will see you guys for the next videos. And yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm sending you all a ton of love, like always, and I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.